A possible afternoon shower, 40. Partly cloudy for Monday, 28. And then sunny for Tuesday, also 28. Staying fine for Wednesday and Thursday with temps in the low 30s. Right now, 24 degrees. More news as it happens on 5AA. This is 5AA Breakfast. Thanks to Jeep. When it comes to superior performance, luxury and attention to detail, the Jeep Grand Cherokee has it all. Good morning, everyone. Good to be with you. 6.36, this is 5AA Breakfast. We'll be having a chat after 8 o'clock to Terry Hicks, a father, of course, of David Hicks. And we're going to head across uh, the ditch right now and catch up with Selwyn Manning from livenews.co.nz. Selwyn, good morning to you. Yeah, good morning. How are you? Now, Selwyn, uh, having a look um, at a case that you've had in New Zealand, a fellow David Bain, he was found guilty about 20 years ago for killing his mother, father two sisters and brother absolutely horrendous crime uh, but our understanding is that that conviction's been set aside and now they're saying he's been uh, wrongly fingered is that the the nub of it yeah that's been building building up for some time uh the the case went to the privy council yeah. um, back in 2009 the privy council basically sent it back to new zealand it, it quashed the, uh, the the conviction and said retry this man. Um, there are elements there um, based on the police's evidence that um, it appears to the Privy Council to be faulty, um, that the plea yeah. for it to be quashed was justified. So there was a retrial had. He was found not guilty. Now, the, the New Zealand government um, announced yesterday that it's um, going to have a re-look at the whole thing. Now, yeah. it's been struggling to objectively consider whether David Bain ought to be given compensation for being wrongfully imprisoned for the murders of his family, as you detailed there just earlier. So, now, so when the, it's, uh, he's been in for 13 years imprisonment. Um, is there a right to compensation, or is it something the government would do out of the goodness of its heart? Well, there's a, there is a right. He, an application has been lodged uh, for David Bain to the government. And the, so the government is honour bound and also legally bound to consider that application. And that's right. what it's doing. The problem that it has is, once again, looking objectively at this particular case. Now, over here in New Zealand, since the murders occurred, as you would imagine, when there was such a tragedy as what happened way back in the uh, the, the early 1990s, um, when a whole family except for David has basically been murdered, yep. um, the, the, the country is divided. So that that an equation, you know, shows through in the decisions made even in the political realm. And this is the problem that the, the government here is having, really, in a sense. Now, th th this problem has built up um, in the sense that it's created a lot of, you know, head-scratching on this side of the ditch, actually, in the sense that after all this time, the government is still looking for an, 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 another way to re-examine the case. They this think he's after. guilty by the look of it. Well, what they're saying is, is David Bain, and, and the quote here is uh, that Mr Bain will need to prove his innocence on the balance of probabilities and be able to satisfy Cabinet that the circumstances are sufficiently extraordinary that it would be in the interest of justice for compensation to be paid. So they're basically saying David Bain's got to prove on yeah. the balance of probabilities that he's innocent. This is after the Privy Council found that the police case was wanting before you know, found that uh, forensic evidence was corrupted, um, found that the plea at the Privy Council, that was supported. Uh, a retrial was had in 2009. That retrial found innocent. that David Bain was not guilty. And also, most recently, uh, in two years ago, that an impartial review, which was ordered by the New Zealand government, was considered by a Canadian High Court judge, a man called Justice Ian Binney. He found David Bain on the balances of probabilities, was innocent in his view, for those murders, innocent of those murders, and ought to be compensated for his justice. Now, the government didn't like that report. It felt that it was <laughs> legally <laughs> flawed and has has been driving Get another one. on that to have another one at the cost, I've got to say, of somewhere between another 400000 to $1 million. Gee, well, so on, on a lighter note, uh, the New Zealand police have been getting around in something apart from not like a Commodore like they drive here in Adelaide. Maybe, maybe they could do with a few more Commodores, Jane, because this is, this is something else, this one, yeah. Um, we all know New Zealand's, um, you know, an agricultural country, I guess, but the Waikato drivers, they, they really, really were faced with something that was pushing the boundaries of that, with police bowling along the main highway, driving a tractor. Now, the tractor was decked out in 
police car livery colours, you know, all the colours and the, the signage down the side, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. People, people, if they go to the tvnz.co.nz site, they'll be able to see a photograph of this police tractor bowling along. Now, it was unclear uh, by all the reports um, and, and the police is kind of questioning on it, whether or not there was um, a siren fitted or flashing mm. lights, but um, when, when all the police would basically say on this one, one of the strangest stories that came out yesterday, I think, um, was that it was the, the police tractor was heading to the agricultural show in the place called Tiawamutu, which is in the heart of cow country, if you want to put it that way, about an hour and a half south of Auckland City. And it was a, a publicity stunt, and the police said that it was all about promoting, and this is a quote, discussions, things like rural road death, drug activity on farms, personal safety, stock thefts and illegal hunting. Now, what that's got to do with the tractor, I'm not too sure. <laughs> oh, I thought it was left over from the old Springbok rides. <laughs> but there you are. Very good that question. Might have been, you know, maybe there was a long back <laughs> kind of put down the back of the police in his, uh, in his backpack or something. Oh, so, dear. So. Oh, and I'm glad we finished up on a lighter note. Selwyn, thank you so much. Okay, mate. Bye-bye, mate. Selwyn Manning uh, from New Zealand, across the ditch from livenews.co.nz. Well, from New Zealand to police media back here in Adelaide to check on what's been going on overnight in your particular suburb. Senior Constable Kimberly Broad joins us. Kimberly, good morning.